Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker and today we're going to go over the 2020 Jayco J-Flight 34 RSBS. This is an awesome rear living floor plan. It's very open, something we're used to seeing a little more in the fifth wheel lines. You will see the dual opposing slides here with theater seats right across from the TV. And with the 81 inch ceiling height, it makes this space feel very wide open. If we start on the campsite slide, you will see your freestanding table and chairs, four chairs that do come with it. Window there, nice upgraded light fixture rather than just a puck light above the table. You'll also see you have a wall scones in here. Again, more windows uh, letting in some natural light. And I like kind of how simple the window treatments are. You just have this right up top. You don't really have anything on the side other than wood. Uh, I personally like that. I like kind of the simplification. You will see right above that some a little bit of additional storage there. And then underneath you have your theater seating. So this is the Stacy Stewart collection. That is Jayco's interior designer. So uh, she kind of you know helped design and pick out the uh, upholstery on here. And I think she did a really good job. It's kind of like a almost like a grayish, if you will. And you know, especially with the theme, we kind of have like the farmhouse look that Jayco went with. I think it fits right in. If you take a look right here at the cup holder on the side, you will see that they vibrate, also light up, and they are heated. Now you do have to have shore power or a generator running to operate that, but it is a great feature to have. Obviously these both do recline, you have cup holders in the center, and then a space for remotes there too. And then on the back wall, as you may have expected, you have a tri-fold sofa. So great thing about a tri-fold is that this does fold out into a fairly comfortable bed. You can see you know, this is basically what you're getting, your guests will get to sleep on there. And with this setup, it is perfect for entertaining because, you know, you can have people here talking to people on the theater seats, or if you want to kind of lay down and watch TV, you can certainly do that too. Windows all the way around, electrical outlets on both sides, and additional storage there right up top. Uh, also, it's worth mentioning, I guess, you do have some accent lighting under the sofa. Just kind of, again, helps things pop a little. The entertainment center, TV located front and center, right where you want it. Some additional storage on the side, open that up for you so you can take a look. You have that on both sides. And then down underneath, some additional storage there. Fireplace right in the center, Furion 30 inch fireplace. That is an electric space heater, plus it looks really nice. A little bit of storage down below, and then the multimedia center here. This does control the speakers inside as well as outside, and it's Bluetooth capable, plus it's a DVD player, so you can pop a movie right in there. Now you'll see they kind of went with a two-tone look here. So they have a little bit darker woods for the entertainment center, and then you get into the brighter, again, kind of farmhouse look for the kitchen. So the Norcold fridge freezer, I'll open that up so you can take a look. Obviously plenty of room in there. And you know, I, I, I gotta be honest, as far as the farmhouse look, I think Jayco's done the best look of it in RV so far. I really like kind of what they've done with the wood here, if you haven't seen it before. Um, you know, again, I just think they, they probably pulled it off the best so far. If we take a look at the kitchen peninsula, because yeah, that's what you have, rather than an island, they really helped open that space up, they want the peninsula instead. But you still have good prep space, you have this space over to the side, plus over here and you have the uh, the undermount sink. Because this is a pseudo solid surface, they call a seamless or a lot of times a thermal foil countertop, it allows you to undermount the sink. Drying rack, you also have a cutting board on the other side, double equal bowl undermount, high rise brush nickel faucet, that is a pull out faucet as well, so a little bit easier to wash and rinse dishes. I must have my weight stuck down below there. Uh, if you take a look underneath, this is kind of cool. This actually swings open. So you have some additional storage there for canned goods. Underneath, two full extension ball bearing drawers. Plus, you have this space where you have enough room for a trash can. On the other side, you have these little guys. You have that top and bottom, little bit of extra storage there. Also, this guy underneath. And then you have the recessed Furion cooktop with the oven. You can see that there. Because it's Furion, the knobs light up. This recessed cooktop is great. Again, you can use this for prep space if you want. When you want to use it, fold it up and back. That front one is high output. Hood right up top, plus your microwave and additional storage there. And then lastly, you have this little kind of bar area. You'll have two additional electrical outlets, perfect for your coffee maker, and then more storage going right across the top. Uh, as we take a look up right up front here, you know, they didn't really waste any space. You'll see you have a little bit of extra storage there. So, you know, not a ton, but at least they gave it to you because they didn't have to. Your control panel is also hidden. 
open this guy up, you will see that. So slides, awning, lights, then your tank monitoring panel is located here too. It is worth noting that the water heater runs off both propane as well as electric. You can turn both those on at the same time for faster recovery. And lastly, right out here is your thermostat. This will control your ducted 13,500 BTU AC as well as the furnace. As we step into the bathroom, one of the things you'll notice right away is here on the door, you have your towel rod, and then underneath that is your toilet paper holder, so nice and convenient. Obviously, you need to have the door shut to uh, use the toilet paper holder, but if you're using the toilet, you should probably have the door shut anyway. Right here in the corner is the foot flush lever toilet, porcelain bowl, so it's easy to clean, stays looking nice for a long time. Plenty of leg room, great shoulder space here as well. Over to the side is a sink top and vanity. Underneath, you will see you have some plumbing access as well as a little bit of storage there. Again, they went with like, like that whitewashed uh, wood on there. And then mirrored medicine cabinet up top. It is a wood medicine cabinet, not plastic. I like that. Electrical outlet, hand towel ring. Neo-angle shower with doors in a roller track. That way when you shower, all the water goes down the door into the shower pan. I'm six foot tall. As you can see, I do have plenty of ceiling space here thanks to that nice 81 inch interior height. And if I step back and you know I want to shower right here, I even have more space that skylight can probably be 6'3", maybe even 6'4", and not have to duck down in here. You'll also see the shelves. Hand wand is a chrome wand rather than white. So again, you know, just a little bit nicer look. It's upgraded a little. And also, of course, if you're a vent fan, but if you take a look right here, you have a courtesy light. So if you want to just turn this on at night, you can turn that off. And so that way, if you need to get up and use the bathroom in the middle of the night, you know, it's not overpowering, but it's just enough that you can kind of see what's going on. And then I love this too. You have a linen closet in here and it is a big one. So plenty of space for all of your bathroom goodies, towels, uh, you know, washcloths, hand towels, everything else you need. When we step up into the bedroom, one of the things you'll notice right away is that this one does have the king bed option. And folks, that is a residential 72 by 80 inch king. So nice big king bed. You won't be elbowing each other. Your feet won't be hanging off. You have windows on both sides. You have the storage across the top and you have big storage underneath. Now this is shared by the uh, space from outside. You see that exterior access, but that is a large storage space. You have electrical outlets on both sides. The one's a little bit higher there. The other one's right over here. Um, it is a little bit darker in here. It's one of the kind of downfalls. I wish they would have put some additional lights. You know, you only have two right up on the ceiling. I wish they would have had a couple more. That especially shows in the wardrobe, which I'll show you in just a second. But first, I do want to point out that this one also has the optional second AC. Make sure you stay nice and cool. But let's take a look at that wardrobe. So it is a good size wardrobe up front. You have the mirrored doors, a shelf across the top. You have a couple hanging rods there. Again, I wish they just would have put a light or two so it's a little bit easier to see. I did not find one. Next to that is washer or your uh, extra storage. Whoops, sorry. I am told that there is a washer dryer prep in here. I'm gonna guess it's behind this back panel. Uh, if that's a big thing for you, if you want washer and dryer in your camper, I would just verify, make sure you have the text, you know, open it up to verify it is back there. Uh, but I am told this one does have the washer dryer prep and based on the space, that is very likely because this is about what you would normally have. Uh, if you take a look at the foot of the bed, you will see you have storage on both sides. And I love this for the TV, they actually give you the mount, right? Like how often do you actually have the TV mount? It's already mounted. All you have to do is put the TV on there. Super simple. Connections for it are right up top, right down underneath. You have your charging center, electrical outlet window, and then a couple of drawers at the foot of the bed. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2020 Jayco J Flight 34 RSBS. Right up front's a powered tongue jack, making it easier to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. You also have a light up front and a manual override in the rare event the motor fails. Behind that are two 30 pound propane tanks with a cover. Larger tanks means that you can stay out camping longer. And then right behind that, you will see uh, diamond plating here. So that way it'll help protect the front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And you also have rails there for your battery. If you want solar, this one is solar prepped. You can see that right underneath. Simply buy the portable panels, plug it in, and it will trickle charge your battery. One of the things I love about Jayco is some of the construction methods that they employ. And one of them is your A-frame right here is actually integrated into the rest of the frame. Most manufacturers will take that A-frame and they will weld it underneath the frame. But by integrating it in, it makes it stronger, more durable, and less chances for that to buckle, meaning that it is a safer tow while traveling down the road. 
Also, it's pretty tough to see, but underneath, they use full outriggers, and those outriggers are placed every four to six feet, rather than other manufacturers, which a lot of times will place them every eight feet. If you look at the pass-through storage here, you will see that it is a true pass-through, goes all the way through there, decent size. This unit does come with the grill, it hooks up in the back, I'll show you that in a little bit. You can see the power awning, I have that out a little bit there. Uh, this is a Solera awning, so the speakers are in the awning itself, so when it is fully extended, music is playing down into your campsite, not blasting out at your neighbors, and it has an LED light strip on there. Now that LED light strip is sewn into the material itself, so that way it doesn't matter what position that awning is in, you can still utilize those LED lights. Right up front, pop this guy open, you can see there you have an electrical outlet, you have another one a little bit further back right here. Now this one is intended for use with the TV. You can see your cable slash antenna outlet. And with this mount, what you can do is that uh, TV that I showed you in the bedroom, you can just pop that TV right off, mount it right here and hook it up. That way you don't have to have a separate TV and find a, or have to find a place to store it. You can just utilize the same one. Making way back a little bit further, you have the more ride step above steps. These are a very solid step system, folks. I'm over 200 pounds, I can kind of run up and down this thing. You see it hardly flexes at all. When you have your standard pullout steps, you know after a few years you start to get that springboard effect, you won't have that with these. Also, aluminum treads mean that they won't rust, and you have the grip tape on there for added traction. Plus, you have the foldable grab handle for some extra control when entering the RV. And the feet here are adjustable, so you can adjust those to the campsite if your campsite is not perfectly level. Coming back a little ways, if you drop down underneath, a couple quick things. We'll start with the axles here. So this one does have the Dexter Easy Lube axles, which means less maintenance. You don't have to constantly repack your bearings. Also, the Dexter axles have the Easy Adjust Brakes. It's like the Never Adjust Brakes on there. Uh, so what that means is, you know, you don't have to adjust the brakes. It's one of those maintenance things that a lot of people forget about, and you can forget about it with this one because it does it for you. Also underneath, again, you can't see it, but this one has a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly. So that'll help keep out a lot of road grime when you're traveling. Also, hopefully some of the rodents in the off season, and it will also uh, help keep things a little bit warmer in the colder climates. You will see on the sides of the RV, not on the side of the slide boxes, but on the sides of the RV itself, you have the frameless windows. Frameless windows are great. One, they just look much nicer. Two, the seals themselves are behind the glass, so not getting nearly as beat up by the elements. And the way they open, they kind of tilt open like this, meaning a lot of times you can have them open while it's raining, as long as it's not like a sideways rain. That way you can get some airflow through there without getting a bunch of water in the RV. So I promise you there's a place to mount your grill, and right here it is. That, of course, is attached to your square tubular bumper with end caps, which is a great spot to store your sewer hose. Because you have your grill here, I'd probably store your sewer hose on the other side, though. Also, you'll see that quick connect, that propane quick connect right down underneath. That is intended for the grill here, but if you have your own grill or cooktop or griddle or whatever else you want to use, you can certainly do that too. Mounted to that bumper is your spare tire here with a cover. It's very easy to get to, plus the spare tire, or plus the cover will help it stay in good condition. And then here you have your rear mount ladder. That way you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. <clears throat> Speaking of the roof, folks, the Jayco utilizes the Magnum Truss roof system. They do a couple things there to really help strengthen the roof. One, they screw everything down rather than use staples. They also use larger nail plates, and the risers are actually chunks of wood rather than just thin aluminum stripping. On top of that, they put a 3 8 inch decking, so that way it is fully walkable. Then on top of that decking, you have your Diflex 2 membrane. That is essentially a fleeceless TPO, so you don't have the fleece on the back. And with the plasticizers that are in it, it gets the same uh, flexibility that the EPDM roof has, but without a lot of the downsides. So you don't have nearly the black streaking. It doesn't have near the maintenance. It truly is an excellent roof system that they put on here. When we move around to the off-door side, you will see your fresh tank fill located here. Right down underneath that is your 50 amp detachable power cord. This one has 50 amp because as I said inside, we have that optional second AC plus this unit has a fireplace. If we drop down, you will notice the termination with both your black and gray tank valve. But this camper does have two black tanks. The other 
valve you will see is located right up front behind that scissor jack. It is worth noting that, as I said, this one has a fully enclosed and heated underbelly. And part of that thermal package is the fact that your valves are insulated in that underbelly. If you plan on camping in colder climate, that is a pretty big deal. The last thing you want is those valves freezing and not closing up for you or not opening, which is much worse. You'll also see your outside shower with hot and cold water access, city water inlet located here, and then right up top is the black tank flush, so that way you no longer have to stick a hose down your toilet to wash out the black tank. Last thing I want to show you is this extra storage. I showed it to you when we were inside, and this is that storage area underneath the king bed. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2020 Jayco J Flight 34 RSBS. If you're interested in this great rear living camper and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.